A Washington, D.C. area county is offering universal basic income. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Prince George's County, Maryland, which is right next to Washington, D.C., offering a universal basic income program. Now, if you are a young person between the ages of 18 and 24, and you aged out of the foster care system, or if you are a senior of a certain age, you'll be able to get payments of $800 a month for a grand total of two years. Now, this has come from a $4 million public and private investment fund, and there'll be no strings attached. So the money is yours. Do whatever you want with it. Now, this is kind of a thing that's catching steam all over the country. The idea of universal basic income, people can't cover their bills. They need more assistance and need more help. But the problem is there's already been programs to cover this. And I don't think this program will replace the other ones, such as EBT, WIC, Welfare, TANF, etc. Programs already exist to help people are not going to Section 8. You know, in Section 8, you're able to live in sometimes a pretty nice house for next to no money for your rent. Same thing, with public housing. Now, you're not going to be in a nice house. But you're going to have very, 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 very cheap rent, if not almost zero rent. You got all kind of government programs to help people, but yet a lot of people are still struggling and still poor. Now, will this program be any different? We'll talk about that more in a minute. But first, let's get to the actual news clip. If you want to see the clip in full without my commentary link, as always, will be in the description if you're on IG, visit the link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Imagine getting $800 a month, no strings attached. That is what some seniors and young adults in Prince George's County who need financial help will be getting. Applications are now open for the county's first ever guaranteed basic income program. News source Walter Morris spoke with one applicant tonight who says that money would go a long way. It gets hard, you know, it gets hard. Most of us are just going to fix income and barely making it. Phyllis Wright is like many local seniors, and with two teenage honor students under her roof, every month she gets hit with that familiar feeling. Now, when, see, they're being, they're not really telling what's going on. These are probably her grandkids right here. I don't think she's a senior, and you got these young girls living with you. That's probably your grandkids. Okay, see, see this, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, she's talking about how hard it is for her to make it, but Why? It's because her daughter or her son then left her with these two kids to raise. And that is often what the problem is. People making bad decisions and leaving people with the responsibility that they are having a hard time being able to deal with. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but I doubt it. Let's keep on going. Two teenage honor students under her roof. Every month she gets hit with that familiar feeling as she tries to make ends meet. You trying to hold on? You just... Um... You pray, and God has carried me a long way. I've had eight major surgeries, and I serve a mighty good God. You don't have to go far from Wright's District Heights home to find other seniors in the same boat. Just check the grocery store. Everything is much higher. Everything is much higher now. That's why she jumped. Things are much higher. Things are a lot more expensive. And I can almost 1,000% guarantee that out here, PG County, Maryland, they all voted Joe Biden, 90%, 95%. And this is the guy that has contributed to the inflation that we are experiencing right now. He's the reason why things are higher. So we're going to vote for the guy that makes things more expensive. Then when we hit with the realization of how expensive things are, now we got to reach out to the federal rallies for some more money. And I've said this before. Maybe the goal is to have people reliant on the government. We'll make things bad for you, but then we'll also give you the solution. So you're going to be dependent upon us all the time. Maybe that's the whole game plan behind Democratic Party, other politicians that could be Republicans, independents, or whatever. But let's keep on going. Jumped at the chance to apply for Prince George's County's first ever guaranteed base. Okay, so it says a guaranteed income program offers a direct recurring cash payment of $800 per month for a 24 month period must be 60 years or older and make $50,000 or less annually. And you got to prove your income and ID. 
basic income program. Thanks to a public-private partnership, the pilot program will provide residents like Wright monthly payments of $800 for 24 months, no strings attached. The grocery stores, where you don't have to put something back, where you can afford to pay for something that you want to have. You know, when you go get gas, you don't have to worry about not filling up your car, or when you go into the grocery stores, or when you're going to pay for your prescriptions, and you say, well, I can get all of my prescriptions now. I don't have Well, you know what? That's, um, what she's saying makes sense on paper, but once you actually get that money, it may not be that way, especially if you have a federal thing like this. This this isn't a federal thing. I think this is like some public and private funds out there in um, PG Maryland. But if it becomes a federal thing, all you're going to do is just increase the inflation. You're going to just increase the bar of poverty. So it becomes a lateral move. But let's continue. You have to wait for them. The program is open to 125 seniors, 60 plus, and 50 young people, 18 to 24, who have aged out of the foster care system. That's it. You got a lot more people than that in PG Maryland that need that assistance or who are going to want that assistance. What I want to see is the sign up sheet because you have to apply for this. I want to see how many people applied. I saw a video from many years ago. It's kind of unrelated, but it is related. Many years ago, back in my um, my home, my old stomping ground in Virginia, out in Portsmouth, Virginia, there was an open an open application for Section Eight housing. The line it, the, the line was so big it was like the entire block was filled with people, and I don't think they had any slots really available. I think it might have been the rumor. It wasn't any of slots available. And if there were any slots available, it might have only been a handful, five, ten, maybe. But the whole block, thousands, thousands of people were there to apply for Section 8 housing. And I don't think any of them were able to have fights that broke out. It was a mess. I want to see just how many people applied. And don't get it confused. I'm not trying to say that they're wrong for applying. Because I understand how hard things are right now for a lot of people. The problem is a lot of the same people probably voted for the guy who has made the situation worse, not any better. But let's keep on rocking. System. All to help cover basic needs, decrease debt, and increase financial stability. So many people just need a little bit more um, to get across the finish line. Council right? member Crystal and Oriata says so far the response has been overwhelming and eventually she would like to see it expand. Like similar programs in Montgomery County and the district, residents have the flexibility to use the money however they want with no need to repay it. That once you're eligible, there's no requirements on what you spend the resources on. It could vary month to month. You could say this month, I need help with daycare. Next month, you know, the furnace is not working in our home. Well, you know, that's that's a responsible way to go about it. But you know how people are. You know how humans are. Once you get that money with no strings attached, they're going to spend it on whatever they want to spend it on. Okay. I ain't going to mention the phone right there. I don't know what kind of phone that is. Everybody got a phone and that's fine. But people are going to spend the money on whatever they want. You know, some are going to say, okay, I need food. I got to spend money on food. Some are going to say, okay, daycare, whatever. Okay, I got a car. I, I need some brakes, tires. Okay, I get that. But you're going to get a lot of irresponsible spending. This is why the government programs are set up the way they're set up. It's where there are certain restrictions because without the restrictions, you will have a lot of irresponsible spending and a lot of hungry kids. The money, rather than getting spent on food, which a lot of times it doesn't get spent on food, even though it's earmarked just for food, it, it, it would be a lot more of that going on. There's ways to guard the money from being spent on frivolous items when you're talking about welfare benefits, but the money still gets spent on frivolous items, unfortunately. I put in my email. And then I put in my first and last name. Applications are open until January 1st, but Wright isn't wasting any time. She filled first hers out in two minutes Tuesday, and she'll be crossing her fingers and holding her breath until she finds out. $800 extra per month. I can breathe a little. In District Heights, Walter Morris. It would be a lifeline. News 4. Again, those applications are open from now until January 1st. If you'd like more information on how... So I'll link to this video in the box and the article in the box. But yeah... I mean, it wasn't a lot of people that's going to be um, eligible. 
what is it like 175 people total something right right around there total i'm talking about the seniors and the elder i mean the seniors and the young people so hey that's that's that again per month 800 bucks i think there's about a four million dollar fund it's not a big fund that'd be gone pretty quick and it's only going to last for two years and then my question is at the at the end of the two years then what these programs, the government programs, aside from this fund right here, are meant to be on temporarily. However, once you get on it, it's hard to get off of it. It's like getting on oxygen. Once you get on, you're pretty much on it. So what are you going to do after that? Are things going to get any less expensive? Will life get any easier? I don't really know. But as I close, I want to say this. Universal basic income is a thing that is starting to gain steam, but it's not really going to help people overall because if it becomes a thing that everyone has access to, then all you're going to do is just increase the floor of poverty. Same thing going on right now. You got fast food paying 14 an hour, 15 an hour. You got these really high wages for these low skilled jobs, yet things are becoming more expensive. Why? Because in order to pay those wages, you got to charge more for goods and services. That'd be the same way across the board so you are being paid more money much more than two years ago three years ago but in essence you're not being paid more money and if you rely on the fixed income if you rely on savings you are making less money you, you have less money if you had let's say in the bank ten thousand dollars a random number for example five thousand ten thousand you had it in the bank and it was not accruing interest. It's worth a lot less than it was when you put it in there. Let's say five years ago, 10 years ago. That's what's happening right now, unfortunately. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what said you, what's your take on universal basic income out there in PG County, Maryland, and also just in general for the entire country? Is it a good thing, bad thing? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I'm not really a fan of it. I'm not really a fan of a lot of these uh, government policies. It's too much government, government intervention. Government intervention caused a problem with inflation. Okay, and they're coming to say, hey, we're going to be able to fix it for you. All they're going to do is make it worse. If the government would just back off and let the free market economy be free, I think things would be a lot better. I understand people who have financial difficulties. I get it, but... The solution to the problem, from my point of view, will just make people's lives worse, ultimately. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.